In combat, you don't always have the weapon and ammo of your choice. Choosing the right weapon and ammo, combined with firearms accuracy, physical endurance, and critical thinking are the keys to success in Battlefield Pickup. The warrior will start with no ammo or weapons and will work his way through seven shooting stations, each of which has a specific task with numerous weapons and different types of ammo. He must decide which weapon and ammo to use for each station's task and which weapons and ammo to carry across the battlefield for the other stages. Carry too much and it slows you down. Don't carry enough and you may find yourself out of ammo. Critical thinking and decision making will separate the best from the rest. The warrior with the fastest time after penalties will be awarded a Mark AR Mod 1 rifle scope from Leopold Tactical Optics and the slowest warrior will be cut from the competition. The briefing was very vague. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of weapons laying around, and it's kind of up to me which ones I want to use. And I don't know what to expect, you know, shooting, whatever we're doing, so. It seemed a lot easier than the last one. It just sounds like I'm driving to stations and shooting a gun, different guns. No, the multiple weapon systems aren't going to bother me at all. You know, I've, uh, I've trained on a lot of different weapon systems, so I feel pretty confident. I'm wearing a, a climbing harness. I don't know why. They won't tell me. Uh, just kind of going in a little bit blind. The the main thing, I guess, it's a little bit physical, but it's kind of more of a thinking game at the same time. Nah, I'm tired and I'm hurting, you know what I mean? But but I'm still a Marine and, you know, we don't, we don't, that, that doesn't stop us. Three, two, one, go! And then I grabbed the 38 Special because I was the only one that wasn't a uh, nine millimeter out there. I started off with nothing and no ammo. So since I didn't know what was coming up, I just started picking stuff up. I think my biggest weakness on this was the shotgun station. Cool. I'm not a pigeon clay shooter. I was just trying not to get frustrated. That's the first time I've ever shot skeet. So I was kind of learning as I went. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Is there a magazine? You don't need a magazine. <laughs> to fire accurately, I kind of do. The M203, you know, I was, uh, I, I'm used to that. That was probably one of the most comfortable weapons. I shot a ton of them over in Afghanistan. So I was always known for just shooting over the top of the barrel and figuring it out and adjusting. Went to the grenade launcher, nailed that, and then I realized I gotta have that shotgun. Went to the tower. I chose the 240 with a 7.62 for the longer distance. I knocked down all but one target. So they had a scope weapon up there, but there was no ammo for it. But then I saw that they had ammo for the belt-fed weapon. Uh, the shots seemed really far for me to go belt fed. So I kind of made a judgment call and went with delinking ammo versus sitting here and going through 200, 400 rounds of ammo and praying that I'd hit something. The smoke's really giving me a hard time. Hit! I'm taking it all. You gonna figure out a way to put this in the trigger guard? Yeah, yeah, I got it. No, I mean, I'm not afraid of heights, but I mean, coming off the side of that thing right there. You're good, you're good, you're okay. I mean, look, I'm here to compete, but I'm not here to die. I thought maybe they had it set up so that we would slow down, and I was trying to hold on to that shotgun, and then before I knew it, holy cow, here comes the, the side of the wall. So I just put my feet out, and I hit pretty hard. I've got a few little bruises, but it was fun. Faster up down, then we're way to the other pistol shooting area. I'm glad I got that revolver because that's pretty much all the ammo that was there. Is there any more ammo? You got what you got. My game plan was to use that shotgun because you don't have to be quite as accurate with that buckshot in there. And then once it started spinning, I remembered I had grabbed two full pistol mags and there was maybe 20 steel plates that I just plinked off 
and the thing kind of slowed down, picked up the shotgun, a couple more reloads, and got them all. Uh, then I made my way to the last station, and they didn't have any ammo there at all. I said I'm just going to go ahead and sprint rather than run all over the place looking for ammo. 15 seconds. Make your decision. All right, I'm leaving. So I had shotgun ammo, and they said 15 seconds per clay pigeon. So I figured it's buckshot. I hit a couple, I think, but it ended up being a little bit further than I expected and a little bit more difficult. Time! Good job. I say I probably didn't do too well because I messed up a lot, like these targets at the end. See if I can get them both. Probably going home. Yeah, I think it took a little bit too much time on those plates and then uh, didn't have any ammo for that last part of the course. It's just humble yesterday and humble today and regardless of the turnout, I'll just be humble all together. Uh, we'll see if I made the right decisions, but um, felt like I was doing what I wanted to do. So uh, hopefully somebody else made some bad decisions. See you later. Battlefield pickup, the name says it all. Seven stations with guns and ammo laying everywhere. The warrior with the highest score and winner of a Mark AR Mod 1 rifle scope from Leopold Tactical Optics is Jared. Great run, man. I thought you were going to bust your head on that zip line, but overall, a great run. There's only five of you left, but you know the deal. One of you has got to go. The warrior with the lowest score is Eagle. Sorry, man, but you're not the maximum more. Felt like I, you know, put my best foot forward and, you know, some great competitors. The guy doesn't perform, goes home, that's the way it should be. Scared of the dark? The U.S. Armed Forces aren't. Constant night training and cutting-edge technology helps these men execute their jobs flawlessly in the dark. We'll test the nocturnal skills in Night Hostage Rescue. 